Hold on. Uh, this is the Zulai kitchen uh, milk frother. There's, it comes in several colors. We got red, teal, pink, black. We also have uh, tons of di different models, but you can check that out on our page. Now, milk frother, what do we use it for? This thing is actually uh, pretty amazing. Um, and the main purpose that people use it for is to froth milk. So we got a bunch of different milks here. We got almond, soy milk, different almond, and half, and half or you just use whole milk, whatever you want to use. And so we'll just do a test. Uh, here we have a frothing pitcher. Uh, we also produce this one, um, stainless steel. And just put a little bit of milk inside to your taste, whatever you want. And as you see, it's pretty low in there. It's not really, it's hold up, let's see, like, uh, whatever. Till six ounces right there. And you'll see the froth is actually quite amazing. You just take it out, start frothing it. And again, this is almond milk. And in a few seconds, let's see. You see, it's almost going to come out of this cup now. And you go as much as you want. It kind of just keeps bubbling, keeps, keeps bubbling. And look at that. Pretty nice. Alright, so we pretty much doubled the milk in volume there. From 6 ounces. And it, it, could, it could keep going. Um, you see, it gets pretty frothy, nice and bubbly. There you go. We about double the volume of the milk, and just put this in the put this back. You could run it under the dishwasher to clean it. I'm not going to show that right now, but there you go. And then you just pour it in whatever cup you want, and it is pretty frothy. I'll just show you. It's pretty much bubbles. All right. Okay, another um, way to use this milk frother, which is pretty cool, you just take any protein powder, so some generic protein powder, and if you want to make some sort of shake or whatever, you just put it in, uh, so you want to just put it in this cup, have it in there, and then again, mix it in with water or with milk, and use some of the same almond milk that we had a second ago. Put it in there, a little bit more. Ta-da! And then you mix it, and there it goes. All right, instead of having to use, say, a blender bottle, or whatever you're, you know, using, you just mix it up with this frother. Boom, boom, boom. And there you go. Oops, dipped it a little bit too much. Let's see. Now it's perfectly blended protein powder. That works pretty well. And another very common use is matcha. I have a cup right here with a little bit of matcha. And you can just put it in water. Keep that here, I'm gonna come back with water. And so instead of using, you know, whatever sort of matcha whisk you're using, this is basically multi-purpose and can also be used as a matcha whisk. So there's all that matcha. And you just mix it up. Boom. It's it's gonna perfectly aerate this. And of course you clean it first. I have a little bit of chocolate in there, but don't mind that. Uh, so here we go. Look at that. Perfectly blended matcha in about what that was five seconds. So you could use it for mixing whatever drinks you want. Either mixes drinks, could be a matcha whisk, or of course frothing your milk, put it in your coffee. We got very lot of foam every time, and right now we do have a great deal on the Zulai Milk Frother. Uh, just check it out, click on the link, uh, and get any of these. Thank you.